On this Super Review, let's take a look at the Status Audio BT-1. So what we've got here is a Bluetooth headphone from the company Status Audio, and they've been kind of building themselves a reputation for delivering really nice sounding stuff for not a ton of money. But that said, the BT-1 that we've got here is not actually that cheap. These things cost around $120. But they do seem, at least in photographs, that like they're built pretty well. And so this is, I think what's really appealing about the Status BT-1 is that it looks like it's a really compact Bluetooth headphone. It's an on-ear fit, not an over-ear fit. And personally, that's kind of what I prefer when I'm out and about in public. Let's see, the other things that I can tell from these things on the website is that they claim 30 hours of battery life, which is pretty strong. And they also claim AppDeck support, which I think is awesome. If you're if you're in this game for audio quality and you're doing Bluetooth, it's a bit of a sacrifice always, but if you can get AppDex codec, that's gonna help out quite a bit. But I mean, we're gonna find out what these things sound like. Let's go ahead and open them up. We'll see what we get inside the box and then I'll come back and I'll let you know what's it like to live with the Status Audio BT-1. So I've spent some time living with the Status Audio BT-1 and mostly using these for listening to music around the office. And I'm ready to let you know what I think about them. And like I typically do, I'm gonna start by talking about the build of this headphone, or at least sort of the, the physical attributes of it. And one thing that's worth calling out, if I didn't mention it already, is that this is an on-ear fitting headphone. It doesn't cover your ears, which is kind of obvious by how small these things are. But let me go ahead and show you what they look like on a head like mine. So you can see it's a it's an on-ear fitting headphone. The cups pretty much cover the entirety of my ears, but they don't surround my ears. And for some people, that's not the most comfortable for me. Actually, I don't mind on-ear headphones. In some ways, I find them less sweaty than over-ear headphones. So for, I don't know, just different scenarios, I like one versus the other, and I didn't have any issues with the fit of these things. I, I found them pretty comfortable and non-fatiguing generally there is you know a fair amount of clamping pressure on them but again i didn't find them fatiguing at all and i yeah i don't know just never was uncomfortable or an issue for me another thing that i appreciate is well because they're so small they're actually pretty good to wear around your neck not like that's a a, a fashion statement that i'm trying to make but when I'm wearing headphones around the office, a lot of the times I gotta take them off, put them around my neck, have a conversation, do something where I make myself myself available to people around me. And I like having, I like being able to wear a headphone around my neck comfortably. And these things, I thought did a pretty good job of that. Um, the fact that they're small also means that, well, they fold up pretty compact. They don't, 
Oh, what do you think? That's a pretty compact little wad of headphone, not too shabby. And they come with a little carrying case that I think is pretty convenient for carrying these things around. Not as convenient as something like a pair of AirPods, of course, but well, if you're looking at something like this, you probably aren't that interested in a pair of AirPods. Uh, in terms of the general build materials and qualities, there's some really good stuff here and a couple things that let it down. So one, like just going over the materials that you have here, on the outside of the ear cups, you've got metal. And I don't know, it's got this little chamfered edge. And I think it's pretty handsome, frankly. Uh, up here in the headband, you got a little bit of padding. And then on the ear cups, obviously, you've got some padding. And the padding here seems to be a, a bit of a memory foam. I don't know if you can tell, but it does recover slowly, which generally means that they're going to be nice and soft and comfortable, but also kind of firm. I don't know, kind of the best of both worlds, in my opinion. The, the one area where the build of this headphone kind of is kind of let down is here on the arms, which are just... They're just surrounded in a fairly thin feeling, cheapish feeling plastic. Uh, the biggest issue for me with that plastic is just that the edges are a little bit sharp. So even here in its fully collapsed form, the edges here are a little bit, a little bit abrasive. But then if you extend the arms, and, and I have to because even at maximum size, well, at maximum size, this thing fits over my, my hat. But um, at minimum size, it definitely does not fit on my head. So I've got the arms extended and here is where they expose the really sharp edges of the plastic. And is that a big deal? I don't know. I feel like at this price, these things cost around hundred dollars. I expect pretty nice build. I don't expect the best build, but I do expect something pretty nice. And that is something that I think lets them down a little bit. When it comes to the Bluetooth functionality of this headphone, there's a lot going on, um, but I'll start with a couple of very minor quibbles. So one, the Bluetooth connection range is not bad, but it's, I would say, pretty average. Uh, and then the other minor issue is that there is a blinking blue light when these things are connected and playing music. So if you're wearing these things in bed or in the dark, it could be pretty annoying, but it's a pretty small little light. And frankly, it's pretty common on Bluetooth headphones like this. On the plus side, well, one thing that a lot of Bluetooth headphones do that's annoying that these don't do is these don't beep when you change volume. And frankly, I appreciate that. The other things that are really nice on these things, one is the boot up time on this is excep exceptionally fast. Uh, let's see if I can kind of show it to you. I'll say now when I hit this power switch and hopefully you'll be able to hear when these things connect to my iPhone. Now. Power on, pairing, connected. That's, that's pretty good, that's pretty fast. Uh, the other thing about the Bluetooth functionality that I think is uh, above average here is the multi-point connection functionality. So I've had other headphones that support multi-point connection and it's usually pretty clumsy. Um, and then I've other, had other headphones that just don't do multi-point at all. And frankly, I don't typically miss it. However, this does multi-point pretty well. Um, I had them connected to both my iPhone and my Samsung S10e and pretty reliably, like basically every time, every time I stopped playing music on one device and started playing music on the other, it would start playing back on this headphone, which is kind of what you expect multi-point to do. But if you've experienced multi-point with headphones before, you know that it's not always reliable. I mean, there's probably like, I don't know, maybe a three to five second delay before it will pick up that one source is playing and, and, and prioritize that one. But Again, I, I haven't, I don't think I've used any other Bluetooth headphone that has done multi-point as well as these do. And then when it comes to the sound of the Status Audio BT1, I think these things are actually doing a really, really good job, especially $100 is not a ton to be paying for a Bluetooth headphone. And I've, I've, I've listened to a number of other Bluetooth headphones in this price range, including like the, the Jabra, what do they call it? The Jabra Move, as well as the Audio-Technica SR5 BTs. And between those three headphones, listening to them over Bluetooth, not on a wire, because I didn't really compare these too much with the wire, but over Bluetooth, these are by far my favorite sounding. In fact, I recently reviewed the Sony 1000X Mark III, and those are around, what, $350 retail? I think the Status, the Status Audio BT1 
sounds a lot better than those Sony. So the, the general signature here is one that I would describe as a fairly balanced sound, which is definitely not a neutral sound, but it's a balanced sound where you've got a nice bass kick to it. Um, you've, you don't have any muddiness or like the, the lower mid range doesn't have any emphasis in it. When you get to the upper mid range, that's where you get that, that emphasis back. And that tends to put vocals forward and it prevents muddiness. It prevents cloudiness in the sound. And these things do a pretty good job of that. I would say that the lower treble is pretty well done in here, not especially forward. And then the upper treble, there's not a ton of detail and or extension in the upper treble, but frankly, I don't really expect that with anything Bluetooth and especially not with you know, a pretty basic on-ear Bluetooth headphone like this. So generally I would say that the sound signature on here is just very, very satisfying. And, and for a, such a small on-ear headphone like this, I would say that the sound stage is even pretty, pretty stinking good. Yeah, the bass, I don't know, what, what's, what can I talk more about? What can I say more about the bass? It's just, I think it's really well done. It's just about perfect for what I think most people want. Um, you know, when it comes to my favorite audio file-ish, my favorite critical listening headphones, I like a cleaner mid-range, a little bit, a little bit more emphasis on the mid-range than what you get here. These things, you know, they'll play up the upper mid-range, but they're not very even throughout the mid-range. And that's pretty typical of the sound signature that I would call a balanced sound signature. So, I mean, is this my favorite sound signature? No, but this is basically exactly what I would look for in a Bluetooth headphone. When it comes to Bluetooth, I'm not looking for the most critical listening. I'm just looking for something that's comfortable to listen to and sounds good and satisfying. And that's definitely what I could say about the Status BT-1. The only complaint that I can think to make about this headphone when it comes to the sound is actually more of a functionality thing. And it's just that I have difficulty sometimes getting the volume to where I want it to be. And I feel like between like 55% and 60% volume on my iPhone goes from being too quiet to being just a touch too loud. And I wish that there was a little bit more granularity in that region of the volume settings. On the plus side, if you need a headphone that gets super loud, these things will get plenty loud for you. But from, if you just wanna kind of dial in that, mid, that middle ground, at least for me, I had some issues getting that middle ground exactly perfect. So out of five stars, I'm gonna to have to give the Status Audio BT-1, very solid four. I think that, well, it's just a pretty handsome headphone. It's nice and small and compact and, and I like that about it. There's some standout Bluetooth connectivity here. Uh, again, the multi-point pairing, excellent. And then just how fast it turns on and reconnects with my phone means that like, I don't, I don't ever feel bad about turning this thing off to save battery life, except I actually forgot to mention battery life. Battery life on this thing, actually exceptional. They claim 30 hours. I, I would say that it's probably much stronger than that, but battery life, another really strong positive on here. The sound quality, again, I think these things sound about as good as anyone could hope for an on-ear Bluetooth headphone to sound. These things, they do everything that I would want them to do. The only real letdown is in some of the details in the build quality and specifically these plastic arms and some sharp edges. It just, it lets these down a little bit for, you know, $100, not a ton to spend on a Bluetooth headphone, but it is enough to spend that you start getting picky about the build. And while I love the metal cups and I love these ear pads, these plastic arms, I could do without. If you're interested in checking out the Status Audio BT-1, of course, I've got links in the description down below. And while you're down there, you can hit the like button for the video. If you liked it, you can subscribe to the channel and then I'll see you on the next Super Review.